stuff like that. So install MetaMask for Firefox. Let it download here. Almost finished downloading. Of course, man. You're very welcome. Thanks for showing up asking good questions. So continue installation, add. Yeah, now you have MetaMask. So So what MetaMask is loading here? Really? You had a problem. Come on, doing a demo. Here we go. So MetaMask, create a new wallet. I would always turn this stuff off. No thanks. And then actually the Firefox 2 is pretty cool. It will securely generate a password for you. And it'll you can like copy and paste it and stuff. So, you know, for example, you just click that. And it'll fill in both of them. And you just copy, you know, use a, a text editor. It comes with text editor. You can install whatever you want. But you can, oops, how about pasting this thing? Right click and paste. Let's do that. Did that work? Yep. Try this again. Yeah, it's a virtual machine, so I gotta actually right click and do it, but you can do your shortcuts when you're doing it. So do that, paste, and then yeah, I mean don't save it in a text file or anything, put it in your secure password manager and all that. But um, yeah, this is text editor. We can put stuff in and uh, temporarily create a new wallet. Again, I'm never going to use this stuff. This is just my test wallet. Um, yeah, watch the video if you want. And then got it. And yeah, I mean, make sure you you know back up your seed phrases and stuff. You can find them. I'm not going to. Let's see. Can I show you without account details? Yeah, you can show private key and stuff like that there. So Google and MetaMask. You know how to back up your seed phrase, all that stuff. I'm not going to show in the video. I just want to show you, you can do MetaMask, you know, I can go to like app, app.poltex.com. You can get rid of this bar too. Well, I already got rid of it. Now that, well, it comes back when you do that, but if you want to like, you know, never show you can get rid of bookmarks bar if you want. Connect wallet, MetaMask, connect the account, uh, switch to Pulse Chain. Yeah, switch the network over, boom. Now you got this, you know, if you want to buy PLS, bridge it over, you can. If you want to import your, you know, you, you want to import your other stuff to MetaMask, you can, all that good stuff. So again, this works, this works for Pulse Chain. Um, or sorry, this works, for, yeah, it works for Pulse Chain, works for Linux. This is, you can use MetaMask, you can do crypto stuff. You can do crypto stuff on Linux. Like you don't have to have Windows. You can do it on Mac, you can do it on Linux. Whatever your browser supports. You can use dApps, you can do whatever you want. 